From the book of John in chapter 1, I've been so inspired this year, specifically then in regard to my own faith in Jesus and how that becomes a testimony, how that becomes a gift that I would love to give to other people. So in the previous podcast, we said that John 1 verse 1 gives us the conviction that there is a reality that is bigger than just our physical and our natural existence. I would now like to go to John 1 verse 3, where John says, through him, that is through Jesus Christ, through the revealed word of God, the one who makes God evident, through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. So it is not just a far-fetched conviction that there is a spirit reality that influences and that gives, that breathes life into my natural existence. It goes one step further that I am convinced that everything on this planet was created. There is intelligent design behind everything that exists. Not just was there intelligent design, purpose was also given to everything. You can't believe how important this is because if a human being is not convinced that there is a creator, then we lose a massive sense of purpose because in that sense then, I, you know, if it's just a big bang, then I'm just one of the other uh, elements that exist on this planet. And I can do whatever I want to do because my, I determine my own purpose. But what the Bible says and what I have discovered is that I can actually experience this spirit God in his creation. Creation has the fingerprints of God all over it in the study and in the experience of nature and of even my bio biology and of what's happening in the galaxies, the incredible design and the meticulous way that things are integrated is a testimony of a creator and by implication there is godly intent. I'm not just a natural person maybe with a little bit higher level of intelligence than the rest of the animals. I have origin that goes way beyond my natural birth. Just that thought that a God had me in mind and my natural birth doesn't define my destiny. Just that thought that he's a creator also means that there is creative energy in my day-to-day -day existence. And that's a crucial part of my testimony why I follow Jesus. Because he created everything. He created me so that I can live on this planet, that I can flourish. And the creator wants to be a part of the creative development of my existence. Now, when the creator determines the purpose, then as a human being, I live accountable to him. And that's one of the other deep human needs, is that we want to bow our knee to something that is greater than ourselves. It is a life-giving energy to live in, with this realization, I'm not alone. I am not left on my own to just struggle through life. He who was in the beginning, who is the word, is a life-giving force. And the very first promise is that force will bring creativity into my future. It means that I don't have to determine my own truth. I can discover truth in this relationship with him. Let's just have a short word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that you created me and that I can discover you as a positive influence in my life through your creation. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen.